The P0300 code means there are random or multiple misfires occurring in the engine. This basically means there's something preventing the combustion chambers from igniting the air fuel mixture. When the cylinders misfire, the engine control module turns on the blinking check engine light and sets a diagnostic code. P0300 is one of the hardest codes to diagnose since there's multiple causes that can trigger this code. So before we dive in, let's start with the basics. In order for there to be proper combustion, the air fuel ratio needs to be correct and the spark needs to ignite at the perfect time. Therefore, anything disrupting air, fuel, or spark can trigger a misfire code. Sometimes there are specific misfire codes. For example, P0301 would indicate a misfire on cylinder 1. This can mean that the cause could potentially be a spark plug, ignition coil, or a fuel injector in cylinder 1. When it comes to a random misfire code, it means that the misfires are not pointed to a specific cylinder, but rather unpredictable misfires throughout the cylinders. Some of the causes could be a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak allows unmetered air to enter the engine. This throws off the air-fuel ratio and causes misfires. Some of the locations could be coming from a torn vacuum hose, stuck open PCV valve, leaking intake manifold gasket, or anything torn in the air intake system that's after the MAF sensor. Another cause could be a dirty throttle plate. A dirty throttle plate could restrict the correct amount of air needed to enter the combustion chambers, disrupting the air-fuel ratio and causing it to throw a P0300 code. You can clean the throttle plate with a carburetor cleaner. I'll leave the link in the description below. Another cause could be a torn head gasket. A torn head gasket can allow unwanted air, oil, or coolant to enter the combustion chamber, preventing it from igniting the air fuel mixture. A quick way to test to see if you have a blown head gasket is to perform a combustion leak test. I'll leave the kit in the description below. The next possible cause could be a dirty mass airflow sensor. A dirty MAF sensor can trick the engine control module by giving it a false reading of the airflow going into the engine. If the readings are false, then the ECM will command the wrong amount of fuel, resulting in a bad air fuel ratio and causing the P0300 code. Another sensor that can trick the ECM is the oxygen sensor. This sensor is also a huge influencer when it comes to the ECM adjusting the fuel. If the oxygen sensor is giving a bad reading to the ECM, it too will throw off the air fuel ratio and cause a P0300 code. Camshaft or crankshaft sensors can cause a P0300 code as well. This can start happening if the sensors are starting to go out and causing intermittent issues. The code could show up because the sensors are used by the engine control module to time the spark at the correct time to ignite the air fuel mixture. If the spark timing is off, then there won't be proper combustion. Once the camshaft or crankshaft sensor completely gives out, there will be a specific diagnostic code correlated to it. The next possibility for a P0300 code is a fuel related issue. A faulty fuel pressure regulator can cause there to be too much fuel to enter the combustion chamber throwing off the air fuel mixture and causing random misfires. This is more common on a vacuum operated pressure regulator. The next possibility could be a bad fuel pump. When the fuel pump starts to go bad, it won't be able to keep up with the demand of air. This lack of fuel pressure will throw off the air fuel ratio creating a P0300 code. On the other hand, a clogged fuel filter will cause this code as well. If the fuel filter is clogged, it's going to restrict the correct amount of fuel and also throw off the air fuel mixture. A good way to diagnose this is to use the fuel pressure gauge. I'll leave it in the description below. Another fuel related cause could be clogged or faulty fuel injectors since they're responsible for delivering fuel into the cylinders. A bad valve cover gasket can also cause the P0300 code. If the valve cover gasket is torn, it could bring the engine oil into the spark plug wells and prevent the ignition cooler from sending the correct amount of voltage into the spark plug to create a great spark. This can be intermittent and cause a P0300 code. Now speaking of spark, spark plugs and ignition coils could also be a culprit since they're the reason the air fuel mixture ignites in the first place. Keep in mind there would have to be more than one to go bad to set the P0300 code. If you have an older car, you could have a faulty distributor, bad spark plug wires, coil pack, or in some situations the ignition control module underneath the coil packs. A jump timing chain or belt could also cause the P0300 code. If it jumped a tooth on one of the sprockets, it will cause the intake or exhaust valves to open and close at the wrong time, disrupting the four-stroke cycle and causing there to be random misfires. Another possibility could be a leaking exhaust. If the leak is right before the upstream oxygen sensor, it will disrupt the readings. The ECM will then read the oxygen sensor readings and change the amount of fuel to add to the combustion chamber. This will ultimately throw off the air-fuel ratio and will result in a P0300 code. Another possible cause could be a clogged catalytic converter. If the catalytic converter is clogged, it could cause the exhaust gases to be trapped inside the combustion chamber and prevent proper combustion. This explanation is also similar to a stuck open EGR valve. When the EGR valve is stuck open, it recirculates exhaust gases into the intake manifold. A continuous flow of exhaust gases will take up space 
placed in the combustion chambers and could also throw a P0300 code. Now another option to consider when diagnosing P0300 is compression loss. When the engine gets to a high mileage, more internal parts start to wear out and begin to lose compression. Some components to consider are worn piston rings or the piston itself, intake and exhaust valves, cylinder walls, hydraulic lifters, or camshaft lobes. The last option to consider when diagnosing, in my opinion, is the engine control module. Since the ECM monitors most sensors in your car to calculate ignition timing, air fuel ratio, and emissions, if it fails, it could disrupt any of these three and set a P0300 code. In some situations, all you need is a software update. Now that sums up my list. If you guys ever had a P0300 code, what was the solution? Comment down below to help everyone else out.